Hey guys, it's social media producer Tom Barnes. This is the Chicago scene. I'm in the South Loop at Acadia. Uh, it's a two-star Michelin restaurant in the heart of the South Loop. And they have this fun, awesome, like, I don't know, it's kind of like a block party in a way. Uh, they're giving away a bunch of free food, cooked, and stuff that you can take home and cook yourself. It's just this giveaway and people have been lined up all morning to check it out. So I'm gonna take a look and meet Chef Ryan who's in charge of this whole thing. That is the Chicago scene for today. I'm just sneaking up on you, Chef Ryan. How you doing? Good, doing great. This is our 15th week of uh, our free market here at Acadia and um, you know, it's great to give back. The neighborhood's here, uh, restaurant industry folks are here. We have a line all the way down to uh, 18th Street. Yeah, so tell me, uh, um, so what you're getting prepped for the, uh, the food giveaway. You give, I mean, you give cooked food, right? But you also give away just in all this groceries, kind of, right? Yeah, you know, what we do, and what about four days after uh, this all, came to be which was like early March yeah. 15 weeks ago you were saying I think March 14th or 15th or something we uh, decided you know kind of as a, a need for uh, our staff was asking what do we do what do we do about groceries what do we do about living what do we do about supplies you know everybody was real nervous at that time obviously so I'll, you know it took us about four days like I said and we uh, I said no, I want to give back you know and so I made a deal with kind of our farmers our purveyors things like that and said, if you guys give me half, I'll pay for half. So half of all the food you see here today is donated from, you know, like Werp Farms, and Slego Farms, and Chef's Garden, all these great purveyors that we use. And then the other half is the stuff I just buy on our dime. Uh, and again, to give away to the restaurant industry, to the neighborhood, to just people in need. You know, people can come down. We're not going to turn away people. Um, we just want us to, to see, you know, and, and provide. Uh, for people that are really hurting right now because there are a lot a lot that and, you don't care about. and one of the bon i would call it a bonus as a person who just uh who's just an average joe that comes to restaurants yeah. uh this isn't just like an ordinary restaurant you guys are i'm recognized you're michelin starred so like right. the things here aren't your variety of mac and cheese like why don't you tell me what people right. can expect when they come in line which they got to be here pretty early because it runs out pretty quick Everybody, right yeah no it's funny it's so you know again we're usually a, Mich a two-star michelin restaurant that does Taste congratulations by the thank way you. thank you thank you awesome. and you know the inside the, the the experience inside is you know tasting menus you know a couple hours of dining things like that uh, we have a casual bar area but it's you know it's fine dining for sure so it's it's been nice and I think it's been nice for our staff to change into some more casual stuff where we're actually talking to and reaching out to, to people you know I think sometimes when you do uh, fine dining and all that tasting menu you don't get necessarily you know all the same interaction as if you're doing a market like this you know so um you know so i, I like doing that I like we're cooking right now i'm cooking some uh some hanger steaks with some chimichurri this is again all free donated from the farms and this is gonna, just while people are waiting in line this is something they can line. get something yeah. to eat too it, exactly something to eat while they're waiting in line uh we change it up every week sometimes it's ribs sometimes it's uh smoked sausage we've done grilled shrimp i mean you name it um, but the line, it's funny, the line starts at about 11.30 in the morning, and they'll stand out here for an hour or two. I would too if I was this close. <laughs> this is incredible. Which is, which is crazy, and, and, and you know, we've been fortunate with the weather. So far, knock on wood, it looks like it's fine today. Yeah. But it's a little steamy. It hasn't, it hasn't rained once. So it it hasn't know, rained once in 15 weeks of doing this. Weeks of doing this. On Saturday, we time it. In Chicago. I know, I know. <laughs> which I think, you know, we could be waiting for snow right now, you know. But uh, but no, we uh, we've been lucky with it, and I think that that's it's just some some good karma or something. And uh, the other thing that you guys are doing, among just the helping out your fellow uh, neighbors in this neighborhood, is you're also packing up meals to go, right? Exactly. So on top of uh, during our market, usually every week, every other week, um, we are doing carry out, uh, and we change that menu about every five weeks. And um, we're going to go into, after the fourth break, we're going to go into our classic American diner menu. And then we are also going to be opening up our patio out in front. We're going to have about a seven, six, seven table patio, as well as a walk-up outdoor bar. So walk-up outdoor bar. Yeah, so what, what can you get for that? And grab a drink out in front and, and take it home. Um, you know, just, just walk on up, you know. 
And you guys are doing a little drop off today with the frontline workers, right? Yeah, Correct. Exactly. Let's okay. explain that. Real quick. So this is our fifth uh, fifth time of doing it as well. Um, in between all of all of this, man, when other restaurants shut down, you guys like amped it up. I know, I know. I think I keep telling you, I just keep joking with people that I'm, I'm actually working more. I'm working six to seven days a week right now, uh, versus you know our usual list five or six. Uh, I don't think I've ever worked this hard in, the, in ten years of this restaurant. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, we're cooking for uh, helping out frontline foods and basically cooking for hospitals that are on the front line, the people, the workers that are there every day working, you know, 14, 16 hours a day, and we're providing meals for them. And we do anywhere from 250 to 500 uh, meals a pop, and this is, again, about our fifth or sixth time of doing that. So we, we, we're, you know, and we go to a lot of less fortunate places around the city, you know, some really rough neighborhoods and places that, you know, people maybe kind of forgot about, but, you know, it's, you know, things like the pandemic don't, uh, don't discriminate, you know, it's, it's, it's everybody, it's everything. Where can people find information about what your hours and a walk up, the walk up window and just in general? So, uh, to get us for carry out and we also are selling t-shirts as well on a do that with all these inspirational quotes on the back. Well, let's take a look here. Success is measured by what you leave behind, a story, memory, longevity, or folklore. Is that yours? Yeah, all the quotes are, are me. Very nice. So, the nicer quotes, right? Off the record. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, hey, guys. Um, but yeah, so like, look for us at uh, toasttab.com uh, backslash Acadia-Chicago. All our uh, cocktail kits, wine, uh, carry-out t-shirts, any, any merchandise and food is on there. And then as far as things like frontline foods and our markets, just please stay tuned to um, our social media. You know, our What's the handle? Chicago, uh, Instagram and our Facebook page, uh, with Katie Chicago. Well, Chef Ryan, thanks so much for what you do. And on behalf of everybody in the city, this is great. This is what's makes Chicago, Chicago. So thanks for helping out your neighbors. And we appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem. All right, cool. All right. That's Acadia in the South Loop. Definitely the Chicago scene. How great is that? Giving away all that free food. And it's not like mac and cheese and canned beans. That's legit Michelin starred ingredient food. That's awesome. If you have a suggestion for the Chicago scene, give me an email. T-B-A-R-N-A-S at WGNTV.com. That's T-Barnas at WGNTV.com. We'll see you later.